Hey everyone, how are ya? Drop here, back with another Star Citizen video. Today we're gonna be helping out some of the uh, newcomers to Star Citizen by giving you a quick rundown of starter ships, kind of like a buyer's guide, uh, what you kind of want to start with when you first start playing the game. If you're brand new, this tutorial should help you quite a bit in choosing what your first ship will be. That way you're not stuck with something you don't like or maybe something that you're just not comfortable flying. So uh, let's start off with uh, the website. So you're gonna go to robertspaceindustries.com and of course you're going to go down uh, up here to account where it has the little yellow bar, click that and then click enlist now. And when you click that, you're gonna put in all your credentials, whatever you want for your information. Uh, right here is where you'd put the optional referral code. So this is my referral code right here on the top of the screen. And uh, if you want, you can use that, put that into the referral and uh, you'll start up with an extra 5,000 in-game credits if you use that referral code. So that'll just help you out a little bit of a boost at the beginning. Every patch, uh, as long as you have that referral code used, you'll start off with that extra currency after every wipe. So um, once you're done with that, just go right back to the website. And what you're gonna do is click fly now. So this is just gonna kind of bring you up to what are you gonna what are you gonna buy? Because you gotta buy the game. Uh, there's these two options here. Uh, you've got the Mustang Alpha Starter Pack, which is just a little light fighter, and then you've got your starting money of a thousand credits. And uh, over here you've got the Aurora MR, which is the same price, uh, both forty five dollars, and you also start with a thousand in game credits. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that even though when you click on the play now and it brings you to this little option here this isn't your only two options for starter packs um, this is just what is on the website uh, front page there's actually other ships that you can buy if you don't want to uh, use either of these ships and what you're gonna do is just go up here to where it says pledge store click that and right right on the front page there you've got game packages so what you want to look for is anything that says starter pack and uh, if you could just click view all game packages and then I like to sort it by price these are all of the different starter packs that come with uh, a game download key so you've got the, 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 the two that were at the beginning but then you've also got the uh, Anvil Pisces expedition ship you've also got the uh, uh, okay, so these are combo packs. These are ships with a Squadron 42 pledge. And then you've got the Avenger Titan starter pack. And then you've also got the uh, Reliant Core starter. And you've got the Anvil Arrow starter. So all these starter packs are going to give you the ship, starting currency, and a game download. Uh, my personal recommendation is either the Pisces or the Avenger Titan. And the reason I say that is both these ships are uh, really, really well uh, designed and easy to fly and a lot of fun. And it kind of gives you more variety of what you can do in the game when you're actually playing Star Citizen. You're kind of restricted with the Mustang because it's just a fighter. And you're kind of restricted with the Aurora because it has no cargo space. I would recommend either going for this Pisces or the uh, Avenger Titan. Um, and I'll show you why later. I'm just going to go over the, the packages for now. So these two are $45. The Pisces is only $15 more. And the Avenger Titan is only $65 US. Now, I'm in Canada. I don't really know how much brand new games go for in the, the US. I'm assuming they're around $65. So if you're looking to buy a fresh brand new game, you're looking to spend somewhere between $55 and $65 anyways. So, I mean, you could go for the Anvil Arrow. That's also a light fighter, very strong ship. Uh, however, you uh, don't get any cargo space with it. That's why I say that the Avenger Titan or the Pisces are very good ships. So if I click the Avenger Titan package, it says right here, contains the hangar, starting currency, insurance, and the download. Right, So this is uh, the ship that I would recommend, uh, but if you want to just sort of save your money, don't want to go for the big pack, uh, you can also just go with these two little guys here. So those are the three ships that, uh, or yeah, so the, I'm not a big fan of the Mustang, but the Aurora, the Pisces, or the Avenger Titan are kind of the three ships I recommend, um, even not even really the MR, honestly, just these two ships. Um, but it's really up to you. If you have the $45, you want to go with one of these, that's fine. But if you can spend a little bit more, definitely look at the, the game packages. You don't have to go with the uh, two that are on the front page here. You don't have to. All right, so those are your two ships. Now I'm gonna go in game and I'm gonna kind of showcase all of the ships and the reason why I think that they're 
uh, better in my opinion or why I think that you would enjoy them more. So let's hop in. Okay, let's start off with the Aegis Avenger Titan. This is the, I believe, $65 ship. Uh, this is the ship itself. This is what you get uh, for that $65 along with the digital download. So you've got, at the very back of the ship here, you've got this uh, door that opens up. This is the cargo hold. So uh, this ship actually allows you to hold uh, eight uh, SCU of cargo. So you can do like some small commodity runs. You've got a bed. Uh, it's a really good ship for a starter ship. Um, I know a lot of players just keep them. Uh, they don't upgrade them. They they just really enjoy them. They're upgradable. You can uh, check out some different websites or watch some tutorials on how to modify the ships in game when you have the currency. You can upgrade uh, missiles. You can upgrade weapons, shields, uh, the coolers, all kinds of things. It's a really good starter ship. I think uh, if you're if you're interested in playing SC, this is probably going to be your best bet as far as uh, you know capabilities, as far as uh, running cargo, doing missions. As, uh, whether that means uh, if you're going to be doing dogfighting, like uh, mercenary missions, bounty hunter missions, as well if you want to do some commodity runs, you have some space in the cargo hold for that. And because it's easy to get into, you can do deliveries as well. So it's a really, really good, really fun starter ship to have. And uh, so yeah, we'll just quickly uh, hop out and pull out the Mustang just to show you what uh, the other starter ship is like. So the, uh, for some reason, the uh, rental kiosk is bugging out for me. So uh, I thought I'd just come to New Deal and just kind of show you the Aurora uh, here. So this is the Aurora. Uh, I don't believe it's the MR. This is the LX, but there isn't really too much of a difference between all the different variants of this ship. As you can see, it's much smaller than the Avenger Titan. Uh, it's a, still a good little ship. Let's just enter it here real quick. The little door opens on the side here, kind of cool. But the unfortunate thing about this is uh, you don't really have too much space in here. You do have this little bed. Um, you have a little bit of floor space so you can do some deliveries. But I wouldn't really consider this a very good ship if you're going to be doing any cargo or commodity runs. It's also a single-seater ship. Uh, very tiny, kind of um, a little bit of a tight space to get in. Uh, not a super... Uh, not a super great ship. I mean, for a starter ship for $45, I think you kind of get what you get. But um, I don't know. Something about the Aurora, you know, it's just, it's not going to get you very far. It's not going to make you money. It's not really going to do anything for you. I mean, it has a few weapons, but all in all, it's just a really tiny, easy to kill ship, right? So for the extra 20 bucks, I still think you're better off going with the, the Avenger. So let's get out of this ship and then we'll go uh, check out the Mustang. Over here we have the uh, a variant of the Mustang. Uh, this is just like a small little light fighter ship, um, single seater as well. So unfortunately, there isn't really much you can do in this ship. Roughly about the same size as the Aurora, uh, this little tiny ship here. It can't really do much for you either, except blow things up. Uh, because you you can't enter the ship like you can enter the Aurora, you kind of have to just get in the pilot seat in order to enter this ship, which means you can't really bring packages along with you. The ship is not good for anything other than just dogfighting and getting you places. Um, you can't bring in a, a delivery package with you to take to somewhere else and deliver. It's really just a single seater little light fighter. That's all it is. Um, still, again, not a bad starter ship. Uh, of course, same with the Aurora, but uh, as far as recommendations go for a starter ship, I would just go for the Avenger Titan or uh, something close to it, like the Pisces. So let's get out of this uh, Mustang here. As you can see, you can't just enter the ship anywhere else. You just get in the pilot seat. It looks like there's a little bit of space back there, but there isn't really anything that you can do about that. I'm, I'm sure if you were out in space, you might be able to open the canopy and then get in the back somehow, or maybe have someone, you could maybe fly someone around with you. But uh, as far as like taking cargo or anything like that, uh, you won't be able to do it with the Mustang either. So uh, now let's talk a little bit about what do you do if you have one of these ships and you save up a little bit of money and you want to upgrade. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the website here and I'll show you how you can melt and upgrade your ship. Okay, so uh, after you've uh, installed the game and you've got your starter ship, no matter what that is, uh, you're going to go up to Pledge Store. Now, it doesn't really matter which game package you bought as long as you have a ship. 
uh, in your hangar, you can uh, do this. So uh, let's just say, for example, that you bought the Avenger starter pack and you wanted to upgrade it. What you're going to do is up here, just go to ship upgrades, click it, and it's going to bring you to this. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're clicked on my ships because th those are the ones that are in your hangar. And you're going to select the ship that you want to upgrade from. So uh, let's just say, for example, if I wanted to upgrade my Gladius. It's a $90 ship right here. Uh, and then automatically on this side, it's going to give you all of the ships that are more expensive that you can currently purchase and fly in the game. So if I wanted to upgrade to a Cutlass Black, I'm going to be paying uh, 10 extra US dollars. If I wanted to upgrade to a Hornet, it would be 20 US dollars. And when you click it, it's going to give you the price difference right here. And then add to cart, pay for it. And then once you've paid for it and everything is good, uh, you're going to go to your account. You're going to click on my hanger. And then with your game package, it's going to look something similar to this. You're going to click the little arrow. And then somewhere down here, it's going to say apply upgrade. Or, uh, you know, it's going to attribute it to your account. And you won't actually get that next ship until you close SC. Relaunch X S uh, Star Citizen with the game package attributed. So you're going to see like a little button down here that says apply upgrade. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to melt a ship... What this means is if you have multiple ships like I do or a lot of other players, if you wanted to uh, get a ship, like say for example you had a Gladius and an Avenger Titan and you wanted to upgrade but you didn't want those two ships, you can actually melt one ship and then you can up, uh, use that money which is at attached to your account. It'll be in your store here after you melt a ship. And uh, then you can take that money, apply it to an upgrade. So what you're going to do is uh, find one of these let's just say this one exchange so the exchange is gonna melt your ship and it's gonna give you ninety dollars in store credit if if you have the gladius yeah the gladius so the gladius is worth ninety dollars when you click exchange it's gonna melt that ship and give you ninety dollars of in store credit and if you were to do that to the avenger titan it would give you sixty five dollars in store credit and then you would have that credit on your account and you would just go up to the pledge store Go back to ship upgrades. Then you would select the ship that you want to upgrade that you didn't melt. Let's just say, for example, it's the Cutlass Black. And then you would select a ship that you really want. Let's just say the Constellation Andromeda. The price difference is $125. But if you had melt, if you melt your other ship, that mon you'll be able to actually save money when you go to add to cart. You can use in your uh, current credit in the game to upgrade to that ship. And so that's how I ended up with the uh, Caterpillar, is I had a bunch of tiny little ships. I, I found that there was a couple I didn't really like to use. So what I did is I melted them, and then I upgraded one of my last ships to the uh, Caterpillar, and that's how I ended up with it. So I didn't just buy it outright. I actually slowly worked my way up to it. I upgraded to it. And uh, that was when the Caterpillar was, of course, for sale on the website. So there you have it. If you have any questions or uh, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking out the channel and watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope I answered a few questions or uh, maybe helped you figure out where you can go uh, to pick up ships or upgrade uh, when you're new to the game. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.